Welcome to Mother Daughter Projects. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. And today we're making a super simple folding table for Steph's favorite chair. So we've talked about this chair a couple years ago because we made this really cool light right here. And that light's been working really great. And this is actually a massage chair that I was gifted from a family member. And it's pretty epic. It's pretty awesome. Um, and, but in the time that I've been using the chair, I've been editing here and needed a place to put my computer. So that's why we're making this today. Come join us. To start, I went to our scrap pile to see if we had anything that was usable for this project. I found this plywood shelf that we found on the side of the road a few years ago. If you don't have scrap, a piece of 1x10 and 1x2 common board from the Home Depot would work. This shelf had a lip on it and I was able to easily remove it and I can also use this piece as the stoppers for the table. I measured the distance from the outside of each arm on the chair and that was 28 inches. So I cut the board to 31 inches to accommodate the 1x2 stoppers that I'll put on each end. Next, I measured the 1x2 and marked the length and cut two boards down. Then I cut the board exactly in half for where it will fold. Next, I placed the stoppers and glued and brad nailed them into place. The stoppers will help hold the table secure over the arms of the chair. This wood is mostly finished, but the edges have exposed plywood. So to give it a more finished look, we're going to be using iron-on edge banding for the edges. I cut it to size and mom ironed it into place. The edge banding package will tell you what setting to use on your iron. Then I used a brayer to make sure there was good contact between the edge banding and the wood. I used a utility knife to cut off the excess edge banding. To blend it a little more with the original finish, we found a stain that coordinated nicely. Mom used an old t-shirt to apply it. Lastly, we had a 12 inch piano hinge, but it was too long, so we cut it down to nine and a half inches with our portable bandsaw. It made a nice clean cut, but we did use a metal file to smooth down a few rough edges. And perfect. Time to assemble. I placed the piano hinge open on the bottom of the table and attached all the screws and it works! The table folds up out of the way when not in use and is nice and handy when I need it for my computer. This is a great use what you have project and can easily be adapted to fit your favorite chair. Well, that's it. Super simple and super easy. <laughs> if you want to see more projects from us, be sure to visit us at motherdaughterprojects.com. You'll find all of our videos, written tutorials, and materials that we use in our projects. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.